Hi all. Okay, back with the 18th. This is the, the third part. Uh, should be the final part of the 18th. A um, couple of things just to bring up um, from the end of the 17th, the last video on the 17th. Martin made a couple of comments, a uh, couple of things I had uh, missed and pointed something out. Um, uh, the first one was, uh, well, I'm, you need to go back and look at the video, but he, he's made the comments if you want to check them. I had uh, made a roadblock check for, I think it was Hoofways, and there was a there was a unit adjacent to it at the time. Um, in fact, was that not what the armour unit was that we knocked out of there? Um, uh, I'm, I don't know. I just obviously didn't see it. Didn't need, didn't need to make the check for that. Fortunately, I rolled, I rolled high enough so it didn't affect anything, but just shows you you can, uh, let's say you can miss so much in this game. Great game though, it's a great game. Um, the second thing, um, sorry, the second thing you mentioned was, yeah, down here, and I was kicking myself at this a bit. Um, yeah, when I deployed the armour unit for the 80 core, um, I read out the deployment instructions, uh, including the part that says that if it's on a map edge hex, it only needs to be two away from the allied unit. The allied unit was actually here at the time, so this hex was two away. And uh, I read all that out, um, I knew the rule, and uh, um, when I was looking at that, I didn't I didn't think about it again, I thought we was two away, and I thought, oh, well, it doesn't really matter where he, where he goes anyway, he's still on the road here. So I placed him here, but if I had placed him here, he's adjacent to the river and I could have popped him over uh, into that hex. Um, and whereas I placed him there and I could only get him to here as he, as he still is. So he's still on the other side of the river. So I was kind of kicking myself at that one, but um, that was more fault. But just to remember that if you are placing a reserve unit, um, it does only need to be two hexes away. Uh, from uh, an allied unit if it's a uh, if it's on the edge edge of the map and uh and the last point he, he brings up and uh this is kind of laziness on my behalf um i can't remember what bridge it was but i had a bridge check and a roadblock check to take and uh, i remember seeing something about it in the rules it's not it's not in the rules so it had to be in, but i didn't go check the forums I had checked my errata, and it is actually in the errata, and I'd missed it. And um, it was confirmed by John that, um, you know, so if if you come here, you've got a bridge check to take and a roadblock check to take. So I think I said at the time, well, I don't think it really matters. Well, it, it, it does matter, and it had to be confirmed, so it's not maybe clear in the rules that you do the bridge check first. So if I come here and do the bridge check, and the bridge blows, then, um, then I do a roadblock check, and a roadblock appears. There's no road connecting into there, so I could technically move, move to here, if the bridge is blown before I do the roadblock check, and that's why you do it that way. I, I think. Um, so that's one to keep in mind that um, you do the bridge demolition check before the roadblock check. And finally, before I go on my things, I just want to have a quick word about what happened up here. <laughs> um, it was fun, I suppose. Um, in hindsight now, again, I mean, you look at all the chats and you think, well, okay, I shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done. You don't know what you're going to get chats-wise. But after thinking about it overnight, I really should have attacked this hex as well. Um, I had enough to spread things about a little. What what would have happened in that battle? I'd, I don't know, but to have the option of 14 chip pools and then say, oh, what the heck, let's draw all 14. It, it, you know, the temptation is there to do it. Whereas uh, if I'd had two battles, I wouldn't have had the choice of 14 chip pools in one of them. And I do think this guy, we probably could have taken this guy as well. Uh, and bearing in mind, he's... Um, you know, he's, he's, he was surrounded too, so I feel like I missed out there. Um, also, I would have attacked him first so that if he scarpered, there was no defender adjacent because I think 
if I recall rightly, I got two defender adjacent chits come out. Eh? That's just your luck, I suppose. Eh? But um, yeah, I just wanted to comment. And you guys, some of you guys probably said, "Oh, Grant, you should have, you shouldn't have put it all into that one battle, and you should have attacked the cavalry there as well." But anyway, I didn't, and uh, there we are. <laughs> so right, okay, I'll we'll get on with things. We're on to an allied impulse. So I'll draw the card and show you and see see how we go from there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, eighteen core. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Uh, yeah, there's uh about eight reserves in eighteen core. Uh, so mm -hmm. some things are gonna happen. No, I suppose the only good thing is. Uh, there was 18th core and there's um, 12th core, and the 12th core might have come down here and started. Sorry, I know you can't see, but I mean, I'd like to do something here, hopefully. Hopefully we can, we can push west. So they, these 18th core might not bother us, because their deployment zone is north of this line. But there's a lot of them, so I'll get them out and we'll have a look. Okay, there's, there's the units we want to deploy from the 82nd division and the 30th division. Uh, now, avoid them out that way, maybe not been talked about before, you know there's a wee S on the units on the top there, and not on the ones below. Well, these are strategic reserves, so you deploy all these first, even though this one's got a unit selector number 16, and this one's got a war number 8, you still deploy the strategic ones first, and then these ones next. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and have a look and see what, see what we think. Okay, I did actually think I wasn't going to find any um, for Method A. Um, I only had this one at first, but this is clearly surroundable. This unit can just go one, two, and surround that. So, um, And I was about to just give up, but I actually think this hex is a candidate. Um, it can trace supply. Um, a German unit's proximate to it. And mem and remember, at the moment, um, my target was these are the only three units in the eight eighth, sorry, eighteenth core. Um, so I'm looking to try and find one from there, if you like. Yeah. So when I said I, I couldn't find any method, eight, I didn't. I, I would have then maybe moved on to some fifth core units uh, from from the army. Uh, anyway, I was looking at them first, and um, but I think that is it's in supply. German unit proximate, and it's not in danger of surround two allied units up here, so I can't zone of control this hex, or even that one, to be honest. Um, so I can't see a way to surround that, and it's not adjacent to an allied unit. So I think that's the only hex. Um, I had a look um, here, one, two, three, four, if I can get to here, but um, this isn't this isn't three away from the core, so that's why I didn't consider that. Um, yeah, so I think that's where the first one's going, so a strange one. So we'll see what happens once I place that one. Um, see if that changes the situation at all. Obviously now, but because it was a bit, it was quite tight to find anything at all, I don't know if I will be able to. Um, so now probably want to target looking from three hexes from this unit but um, yeah I'm not so sure there will be any I'll have a look okay I think this is the only one I mean it's not a candidate it's easily surroundable but that's the only one that's maybe three away from the division so I think now we're going to have to look further into the army and look at the fifth core unit so I think there's a, a chance of something popping up there though Okay, there's four little light green cubes that are th within three of a unit in the fifth core that I think are candidates. Well, I've marked this one anyway. I looked at it initially, but there's two things stopping it. It is actually surroundable. I didn't think it was, but this guy can come out and in, and the, this guy's on a control there. But however, it's adjacent to an allied unit anyway, and it's not a, a five or six hex. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, quite, quite glad I had a look at that actually. It wasn't my intention, but I just spotted something. 
Um, like I say, it is surroundable anyway, because this guy can go one, two, three, and then this guy projects on the control into here, so he's surrounded there. So it can't happen anyway, but the main reason I thought was because it's adjacent to an allied unit, and it's not a five or six hold value, it's only four. But this guy's out of communication, and that's part of, that's the second part of um, uh, that, that unit is out of communication and would be in communication after placing the reserve unit. So um, that would be the case. If I did place a reserve there, he would then be able to trace communication. Um, however, it's surroundable, and we don't need to go. I was only pointing out because I didn't actually see that my first myself. So the other three... Uh, um, yeah, I can't see surround, surrounding the hexes, so all the forest up there, so um, they're within three of, uh, well that one's in, within, they're, they're all within three of this unit, um, they can all trace supply, um, and German units approximate to them all, this guy can go in here, this guy can get to either of the two. Um, we're not adjacent to an allied unit. Yeah, and they're not in danger of surround. So, so out of them, uh, are they all? No, there's a four. So out of them, the highest hold value would be the four. So that's that one. So I think that's where the next one's going to go. You never feel 100% sure with these. Um... Like I say, well, that was three candidates and they were within three of a unit in the same army. Right, we've exhausted getting anything within three of the the same core, well, the same division and the same core. So now we're on the same army. Um, so obviously the two other cubes that are there are now not relevant because they're adjacent to the allied unit. So just have another look with the placement of that unit. I think things are going to get tighter now, though. We're now looking for a hex that a German unit would be proximate to, and that's within the core boundary, and then country supply is not surroundable. So there probably is another, um, maybe a couple of options. Um, I can see one, two, three, four. Yeah, this this is a candidate here is just in the boundary line that's a boundary line there so north of there and uh, this German unit is proximate to that um, right I'll, I'll pause though because it was good to get long enough this I actually do think that's the only, only one though that German unit is proximate to this in their core core area um, yeah So I'm gonna go with that and yeah the German the German units can't get any this bridge was blown. If this bridge hadn't been blown, obviously or Rosh would be not a candidate, but um so that's the third unit going there. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be that now. Yeah, I'm gonna call it on on the reserves for method A there. Um uh, the next step would be to check out the contact units using method A, but because there's no candidate hexes, we've still got units in the reserve units box. Um, so we're going to go on to method B. Um, so I'll just uh, slightly different than us. So the, f the first bit is quite nice and easy actually. It says place unit and a hex occupied by a unit in the same division in communication and supply with, within stacking limits and not in danger of surround. So so this guy can join um, somebody from his uh, his own division. Uh, which one's he going to join? Hang on. Right, so he joins the one with the highest hold value, actually. So that's this guy up here. This is a four. So that's that one. Um, now we can't place the start... Uh, these, because these are the these are the new division. These are the thirtieth division. So there's none of them on the board yet. So then we go down to 
Place uh, the second part of method B. Place the unit in a position hex. First check best hand candidate hexes. Empty position hex. Units core area. Able to trace supply. And then, so this is where it becomes more relaxed. Within three hexes of a unit in the same army, uh, again, it's going to try and be three away from the division. If not, the core. And then, if not, the army. Uh, and this this next part's the, the main one. And within four hexes of a German unit, regardless of zone of controls, terrain, and so on. And then check, it's not a dangerous surround, it's not in a German held city or town. So there's a couple of things missed out. Obviously, it doesn't need to be a German unit, it doesn't need to be proximate to it. Um, uh, doesn't care about going beside an allied unit as well. So much more relaxed, I'm sure they're going somewhere. So I'll have a look. Okay, there we go, light green cubes again. Um, obviously, I'm looking at three away from a unit in the same core rather than the army at first. Um, all the hexes are within three of a unit in the 18th core and four hexes, up to four hexes away from a German unit. They're all in supply. They can't be surrounded that I can see. So, and then it comes down to... Um, if there's more than one, it's a hex with the highest hole value. Um, Stable, it's a five, but La Roche here's down, down here's a five as well. And the next priority is um, westernmost. So the first unit's going to go into La Roche. Um, so then what we can do is, rather than bother about these up here, it now becomes easier because you go back to the top, method B, place unit in a hex occupied by unit in the same division, in communication and supply with stacking limits, not in dangerous round. So, and that can take three units, remember, with six steps. So, all three of them, they're all from the same division. They all pop up into La Roche. And I think that's right. <laughs> um, you just going to have a look, guys. You might come up with something and hopefully it doesn't break the game. But you never know. You never know. Okay, so that's the end of Allied Impulse, so um, yeah, let's get back to the German Impulse. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to activate the 85th Core, if not moved at all. Um, let's see if I can get some of them across the river now and try and come down to help. Um, so, okay. Um... I'm going to move this one across the river there. Uh, the armour. That's three into there, four. Is that right? Three, four, and then across the bridge. Or five. Uh, one, two, I could bring, no, oh, no, it's only, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move another one of these, one, one, two, three, and here. Yeah, I just wonder if it's safe enough to move this guy as well, but I think it is. Hopefully. So, one, two into there, three into there. Um, you still can't move into here or here because these guys are projecting so under control anyway. So, um, I don't think I'm going to move the three five two guy though. This guy here, I think he's just going to stay put. Yeah, I think that would be a bit too risky. Um, so oh yeah, well while we're on it, right? I'm going to build up IP for him though. He's not going to move, attack so. Um, yes, I will. So I'll go and grab an IP for underneath them. And uh, that'll be that activation over. Okay, 47th core again. See if we can find a, a bridge across the river there. We've got one, we've, we've tried two already. Um, well, I suppose that one was heading up. But anyway, so... I'm going to start by, I could come down here, I'm thinking about 
going here. I know it means an extra check there, which that's why that maybe that is relevant. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. I don't know if it's the best or not. So I'm going to go one into there. I've now got three roadblocks to check from the position I'm in, but there's no road joining that, so that was the reason to move in there. I can still move again. So I'll get the dice ready. Okay, so highest hold value in westernmost. So we check this one first. We got a 10 for that one. So that's been checked. Um, this one next. Ooh, a four. That's good then. Wait, you see, this is the one will fail. Eh? Well, the bridge will blow anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one for a two. Okay, a ten. Good roll in there. Um, ah, yeah. I see my blunder now, though. <laughs> it's going to cost me three movement to move into there, so I'm going to have to come around. So maybe that wasn't so clever. Okay, we'll still do this. I know I could move my wear units, but kind of hoping that if there is a clear path, I can get them to have a go at St Hubert anyway. So there's only one movement there, so two, two, oh, I'd already checked that. The reason I wasn't putting a cube in because I knew I was moving in there, but so I checked all them, they're all good. Two into here, so three into here, and now we've got to do the bridge check. Please, give me a bridge. Hurrah, that's a one. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this unit's going to be able to do to get adjacent to St Hubert, so he can at least do the check and we can find out if there's a robot there. So he was one, two, three to there, four, five to here then. So now we do the five check in St Hubert. Ah! Just teased us, didn't it? Okay, well... We might move the wire units. Actually, I forgot to put a bridge marker here. Let's just go with that bridge. Um, so that's handy for tracing supply because these are both out. So um, okay, I'm going to move this uh, the weaker of the three wire units. Uh, one. Two, three, four, and five, I think. Yeah, so let's let's check how we get on here. Mm, Reconia, is it? Uh, so it's a it's a four. Robot check. Ah, the dice have gone to pot. Another robot. Okay, what do we do now? Okay, I'm going to move this infantry with a strategic movement. Um, one, two, three, four, and then there for its five. Oops. Again, not sure what I want to do with this guy. He could join his buddy. He could go into Bastogne. I'm actually thinking about maybe bringing him down. Oh, oops. Hang on. Camera. Camera. Uh, bringing him back. Try to get him into Wilts. Just feel like there's a bit of a hole here. And we've got everything in the middle here. So just feel like this is a bit open. Um, I do have the card to activate them so I could potentially they can't quite reach Wilts but even if they just stop short the thing where if I'm going to try and get into Wilts I need to go here first taking a check there would it be a check maybe it wouldn't be 
Supply tracer, well hang on. Yeah, I could still trace supply. Um Yeah, I feel like this is an important wee gap, wee hole here, so I'm going to backtrack this guy. So one into there, I'm going to do a check for here. Mm. Hang on a sec. Okay, we're checking on a two. That's a seven, good. I don't want to be hit with that one. So that was one. Um, hang on, just in case. So, two down into here now. So we check for welts, which is a three. And we get an eight. So we're back to some good row one. So, yeah, there's no point going so far and then stopping. So we're going to pop into welts. Take that town. Um... Yeah, this feels a, feels better, feels more comfortable shutting that off a little bit. Because this is obviously an important road for me and for my supply. And once the unit's here, it's then closer to that road. Anyway, I'm going on here. Okay, so let's see what we're doing with the wear units. The other two wear units. Yeah, there's nothing clever I can do here. It's getting round either of these road bolts is not possible really, so... I think I'm just going to park them adjacent to St. Hubert. Mm, that's a five, whereas that one's a four, but ideally you want to go through St. Hubert, so... Okay, one, two, three... Yeah, I think I'm just going to put them both in there. Not brilliant, but hmm. okay. The final one, the guys further north here. Um, I was just going to chuck this infantry in, but I think I might switch it with a Panzer unit here. Um, at the moment I've got fourteen to two in there anyway. Um. So 17 to 2 or 16 to 2, it doesn't, doesn't matter, it's all getting 8 to 1 odds. I just feel like maybe the second panzer would be better. And here, and then put the infantry. And they build some. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's victory point hex, we do want to keep hold of that. So, yeah, I think I'll go with that. So, I'm going to make an attack on here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, like I say, we've got 16 to 2. Yeah, he's a 2. One step. He's in low supply. He's also dispersed. So, yeah, just double check and see if there's any cards that I need. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, the unit's dispersed. Low supply. Famous last words, but <laughs> it should be a doddle. That should be easy. Um, I can spend all my three cards on my next impulse. Yeah. Okay, let's go for that. So, 8 to 1 odds. Uh, sorry, chip pools. We've got four units, all applicable. And we've got one three-step unit. So that's four, four, five, and then one for the elite. So six chip pools. Six chip pools, eight to one, and that's a minimum of one. One chip pool, there's only one step. Now just to give you the dispersed rules, in case you're unsure. Um, so if it's got a retreat, it's only gonna, it can only retreat one hex. And uh, the other bonus, which is, Rather nice. Um, the attacker may dis disregard one attacker hit, and also the defender may not use combat tactics. So we can ignore a hit, which is good, and um, he can only retreat one hex. So let's draw the one and see how we get one. Okay, kind of run out of space to put things here. <laughs> the chips in here. Um, 
there's authority, so it's not applicable. Um, yeah, so I'll draw the other five. Okay, there you go. Uh, must admit, I was expecting a slightly better result. We've got the D2, which I think is enough to take him out. Uh, I thought I had a large attack, and then I was kicking myself, thinking I could have played her, because that was... I was obviously pawing the wrong point in the combat tactic just to get the large attack, and I didn't. So that would have, because uh, he managed to get two hits on us. Okay, we can ignore one, but we're going to take one as well. Um, okay. Okay, so he's only one step, so he's going to retreat. It's not, it's not an IP, he's not in a town, so he's going to retreat um, either here or here. It's not going to matter. Um, he's going to retreat into there, but he won't take a step loss because he's in beside a, a buddy. Uh, it's still in zone of control. So that, that takes a hat down by one, but he's then not allowed... To, so one is equal to his steps. He's not allowed to retreat again because he's dispersed. So he's got to sit there and take the step loss. So basically that's him. He's gone. And we've got two hits to take, but remember, because he was dispersed, we get to ignore one. Um, and I'll just have a look to see where the other one's going. Yeah, I'll have to take it on this guy. Drop something to two as well, but the other two are one step, and if, I don't know, knocking this guy down takes him down to two steps. So. Yeah, we're getting a bit battered, to be honest. Um, however, uh, no, I'm not sure if we're advancing or not. Let me have a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like a great idea. Um, advancing out of there would be surrounded. Um, yeah, so just going to wait on there. Um, I think that's every 47th unit done something. Yeah, so. That's our three points spent. That's a spent five. So I'll tidy things up and the allies can have another impulse. Uh, okay, just before the next allied impulse, uh, Martin's just brought up a little error that I made back. Uh, it was the first part of the 17th. Kind of gutted about this, but I suppose it was always likely to happen at some point. Um, I had this unit here, I had moved it um, in here, I didn't check here for a roadblock, and I should have done. Um, he calls it a minor thing, but I then moved from here to here, and then to here to surround that guy, so I would have had to move through, you know, okay, but you've seen how some of the dice roll. It's quite easy to roll a one or a two. Roadblock pops up there and then you're kind of stuck. But also, when I moved into 2604, this unit wasn't there. I didn't check there as well. So I missed the two checks. So I'm annoyed with myself about that. There's not an awful lot I can do about it. I put, some, put a comment there. Uh, um, the 18th, is it the first part of the 18th? Uh, but there's, yeah, I don't think I can reverse all that. So all I can suggest is we got lucky and rolled a higher than a two in both of the occasions. But it's hard to keep it all on board, guys. Um, we'll try and keep it to a minimum, though, if we can. Um, it doesn't quite break the game, but doesn't feel good to me. <laughs> okay, Allied and Paul, so let's move on. Okay, just going to draw the next card. What have we got? No, oh, it's no command. We've seen that for a while. Um, yeah, well, we're still... It's between the 16th and the 21st. Well, this one is anyway. Engineers event. So, well, we got two new roadblocks on the, on the board. That's only two. So, it's more than likely they're going to be defended by something. We're going to have a look again, just to make sure we're doing things right. Okay, guys, uh, been paused for a while, so 
think I was about to put a reserve roadblock unit, wasn't I? Um, but I've come across, it's been pointed out, Martin again, he's getting into me now. <laughs> um, I've made another slight error, they're coming thick and faster. Um, and, oh, this one frustrates me as well, because um, I deployed this unit here, saying that at the time, ooh, what was it, was it one of the, hang on, I've got the video up here, where are we? Yeah, we had, um, we had some of the 58th core in here, and I said, um, this was proximate, they could go one, two, three, four, five. Well, it is movement wise, but this is still their boundary. So uh, until the 20th, the 20th of December, that clears and you can go go nuts. But so I don't know if I can, I'm hoping I can fix this because that's going to really bug me. So um, the next deployed unit was here. Um, if you recall, I had green cubes out. I'm just looking back on my video footage, so I'm going to try and put it right. Uh, I know it's a bit messy, but I just I just want to try and get this one right if I can. Um, it seems to have been a bad day today. Um, so I'm going to have a look. Yeah, so there was four units getting deployed. Um, the first one... Uh, is the camera I need to go up a bit, maybe. The first one deployed here. So I believe that was correct. I've not heard anything about it, if I've got that wrong yet. So, um, and then the second one I deployed was here, which was wrong. Now the third one was here. So I think I should be good in saying that I can swap them over. And then the fourth one was deployed here. So, now hang on, if the third one, yeah, because they were looking, they couldn't, they couldn't pick up the division. They couldn't go three axes from the division, so they came back down here. That's right, I remember that. So this guy got placed because of that, and this unit was proximate. Um, even though there maybe should have been a roadblock there, which uh, may have stopped. Well, I can't, I can't reverse that. I'm just going to have to say. I rolled a three, okay. Um, and then, so this was the fourth one that was placed. So I'm going to switch him over with the third unit that I placed. So I think that should be right. But I'm now going to have to try and deploy this guy. So I'm going to see if I can work it out and uh, come back. Okay, just had a look over things and there would be no more placement for it that's three away from any units in its core or army. Um, so it would then want to go to a, a hex where a German unit's proximate and it's in supply, it's unsurroundable and all that. So I've had a look. I know, I know the board positions all changed in that. Um, but with that, you generally look for the highest whole value hex. We had um, one of the 116 Panzer was here. And one, two, three, four, five. It was proximate to St. Hubert. It's got a hold value of five. Um, so it's the biggest one in that area. And I think it's the biggest one that any of my units at the time were proximate to. So my thinking is that that, uh, yeah, I put them up here, didn't I? I was thinking that he might just be going in method B, but there's still options. So um, I think this unit probably should have been deployed in St. Hubert. So we've got a roadblock there. We found the roadblock. How can I fix this? Um, does this feel right if I put the guy there? Now, when we moved our units, we were checking for roadblocks and... I don't want to go back and redo all that. We also had a combat up here. It seems unfair to go back and check everything. Um, I mean, I could just say that I moved these units up 
to St Hubert, that's the probably your normal route to try and get towards uh, the Muse from this direction anyway. You want to go there, Rochefort, I want to GVA or, or Dinot maybe. Um, so, but would I move the units in there to have a combat, knowing that that unit's there? Well, maybe that's just tough and that's, I've made that mistake and um, we've moved on since then. But maybe I could, if I put the unit there, it seems better. I didn't, I don't like, I, I don't like having that unit there because it shouldn't have been placed there and that's, I'm kicking myself, like I say. So, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to pause and ponder on things. Um, uh, so I hope I'm not messing things up here, guys, and messing your your viewing up. But uh, I just want to get it right if I can. And I just okay the the, the roadblocks that I missed that I told you about. Yes, I don't want to do that either. But maybe not quite as major as this. I think this is more important. This this mistake. So hopefully I can fix it. And we can. To an extent, and we can move on. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with that plan, guys. Um, uh, either that, or no, uh, should probably just keep moving and let it go. Um, I think that's where the unit should have been placed. So the fact I didn't get an attack on that's my bad because a mistake. I think. Right. Let's. Let's leave that and move on, okay? So, coming back to um, the engineer's event for the Allied Impulse. Um, we were looking at two roadblocks there before, but um, now we're just looking at the one. So, the unit's going to pop up here. Um, my guess would have been St Hubert's 5, isn't it? Yeah, I think my guess would have been it would have been placed in St Hubert. Again, I could I could be getting a favour done here because I'm pretty sure it's armour that's coming in. Um. Anyway, I'll have a look. Okay, yeah. So if there was more than one, it is highest whole value then then westernmost. So. Um, but we're looking for somebody that this is the closest unit. I've got to just carry on. This guy's been here for a while. Uh, so he's in the uh, third army um, so we've got to take a, a unit from the reserve units box from the third army and that's the um, no, I'll show you the guys the 10th armoured units uh, I'm pretty sure we're, we're taking the lowest selector number Who's number two. So, um, that's what my thinking is. Our armor unit's going in there. And that's the impulse over. Okay, that's going to be my last impulse of the day. Uh, I've got three cards in my hand. I'm just about to play card 56, so then I have just two cards in my hand. Um, so, yeah, I thought about this for a while. So I'm going to activate 66 core. Um, just kept looking at them, wondering what to do with them. It's not, it's not, a, it's a strong core, but there's only three of them, you know, it's like, you just, um, Anyway, um, they're part of the 5th Panzer Army, so it would be nice to move them along. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to activate them and try and move them a bit. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to move the 18. Uh, <clears throat> now, I had a look at this, I think. Uh, one, two, I don't think... This hex is in supply for a robot check for them. You can't get through there, they can't get up there. So, one, two, three. Yeah, this one isn't in supply. Sorry, I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. 
This hex isn't an allied supply, I don't think. I think this one is, because it can go one, two, three, and then on this road. Right, can you see that? No, you can't see that. Let me <laughs> zoom out a bit. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, where was that? Yeah, this hex here. Um, it is in supp alley supply because it can go one, two. See that road, the can't trace because it's going to it's going to control there. But so one, two, three, and then onto this road, and then that there's nothing. Let's just take some out. Sorry, I know you can't see down there, but um. So this one's not in supply, and this one. Uh, so I would. I'm gonna have to take a roadblock check for that if I get to. It. Um, which I think I'm gonna. So I'm gonna go one. And then two. So no road connecting it though. So but I've got to take a check for that still. Yeah, I just moved the camera back there, but it's just because of. Oh, you know, it's the way up in St. Vith. Let's try to get them all in. Okay, um, robot check on a three. Uh, we got a ten, so all good there. Mm. I'm going to put a wee cube, though. This other infantry will be coming along. Uh, so that was one, two... Well, in fact, actually, I may be moving into that hex, I think. I'm not 100% sure what it is I'm doing with these guys, but just they're quite strong units. I feel like they should be getting involved somehow. I mean, you'd like to think they could maybe help down the south here, but they, they can't cross their boundary yet. Although I keep trying. <laughs> they can't do it yet. Um, okay, so the other guy... Yeah, the other guy's just coming along as well. So one, two, uh, three. Yeah, okay, been looking at this. The guy in St. Fath, I'm going to use strategic strategic movement. Say the word right, girl. Uh These... I did look, both these hexes are going to be on the country supply. So if I move there for one, just to double check, because if I do need to do a check, I can't use strategic movement because of the ara that was brought out. Um, yeah. So that's one, two. Just, yeah, you can't get up and trace supply, so... I think we're good with this. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. There was no robot checks. We didn't break any of the strategic movement rules, I don't believe. So I have I'm leaving St. Vith empty and a bit of a gap here. Uh, but I do have a plan for that. <laughs> a cunning plan. Um okay. <clears throat> so that's day three units moved. Uh so that's that activation over. So into my last activation of the day. Yeah, they're not done with yet. They might be all battered and bruised, but they're still in the game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, going to play card 35, activate the fir first SS again. Um, actually, I wonder why there's a blue cube up on the... I think I've left that accidentally. Hang on. Yeah, I'd, I'd forgot to remove that because it was a camp group, wasn't it? I took the one off the first SS and I must have left that one accidentally because it was... The last impulse we activated the forty seventh and the the pink guys. What is it? The eighty fifth. So 
No, that's relevant to this movie anyway. I'm not using the 67th. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to activate the first SS again. Um, I'm going to take a bit on board. The tip Martin was saying about, you know, maybe just grind these guys down a bit, grind them into low supply, so that then they're weaker and they don't do too much. I, I, I'm going to have a go at this guy, though. Because um, there's victory points in there as well, isn't there? Yeah, of course there is. But uh, this, I've got this guy surrounded, but I'll probably just sit there. I might tighten things up. Um, anyway, let's me think about what I'm going to move. I'm going to move some units about. Okay, let's make some moves. Um, I worked out I can get easy 71 odds on this guy. I could push it to 8 to 1, so... I probably shouldn't be mentioning that because I'm probably keeping it at 7 to 1. <laughs> and if we get, uh, I don't know if there's 8 to 1 chips or not. Uh, anyway. Um, okay. So this guy is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And he's going to do the same 1, 2, 3, 4. He's going to jump in there. Um, so they're all going to attack at some point anyway, so I'll just angle them all. Mm. So that, that would be nine at the moment. Uh, and that's another ten, so that would be nineteen. Oops. Nineteen. So 22, 23, uh, I think there was a way of me getting uh, 24 to 3, but um, meh. So what did I say, 19, 22, I've got 23, yeah, 23 to 3 there. Uh, I've still got some movement to make, I'm just adding the numbers up, but. Uh, okay. Uh, gonna move this oh no I'm not no I'm not yeah I'm I'm gonna move this 501 unit bit down so one this was my cunning plan two uh it's not really a, a cunning plan but I do want to protect some Vith. and I can't come across this boundary because I've spotted that one this time this is the uh German six panzer army boundary so yeah feel better about him being down there. Um, what was the other thing? Yeah, this guy gonna go... I'm missing something, am I not? Hang on a sec. Okay, I'm gonna put this infantry in here and bring this one, one, two, three as well. Uh, it's two bracketed units, not that it's relevant, but just remember, two bracketed units still exert zone of control. Um, yeah, and I moved this guy down, that, that was part of my other thought was bringing him, I could have brought him round to there, but... Um, I think that's okay. So, I think the, the last move is uh, moving this into, into Malmedy. So, we're going to take Malmedy. Uh, yep, we are going to have a robot check in this hex of a two though, I believe. Try and quickly do that. Oh, look, I'll just chuck it down there. That's a two, yeah? Okay, we got a ten. That's good. Yeah, okay, that's all, um, all the units I'm going to move. I'm not going to attack this hex, but I'm going to attack here. Um, so, let's 
so just to confirm so you can see three uh, he's flipped most of these guys are flipped <laughs> three six nine okay and then another ten so it's nineteen twenty three so okay, twenty three to three as uh, seventy one odds. Um, our chip pools are one, two, three, four, five, six, but only one for the stack. Seven, because the bracket unit doesn't get. A. So that's seven. We've got a weeks for eight. And uh, I'm also going to play my last card. Can you see that? No. Hang on, I'll zoom out a bit. No, oh, actually, just pan there. Yeah. So, fixed artillery. And we're, yeah, we're adjacent to West Wall. So, that should be good. So, what did I say? Damn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is that? Um, Doubting myself. I'll pause though and I'll put you through it. Yeah, so nine chip pools. 71, we're playing fixed artillery. So you can't get an undetected defender, but you can get a combat tactic. Unfortunately. So, and this is where Martin's idea of, if you get them in a low supply, they don't even get a combat tactic, which, you know, can sometimes put a right span on the works, but anyway, I'm doing it. So, Let's see what they get. Alright, uh, that's bad. That's not what I wanted. They're getting artillery. I mean, there, there are some that give the attacker priority, but I have tend to feel, unless I've <clears throat> just been unlucky, that when both have artillery, it's usually the defender that benefits. But, however, it's done now. So, maximum of nine. Well, actually, I better. Leave that card there, just as a reminder. It's just off camera, but... Um. Okay. So we've both got artillery, but we'll see how that pans out. Uh, so maximum nine chip pools. There's a minimum of two. And of course, he's in a town in the woods. So I'll grab the two, see what we get. Okay, there's the first two. Really good. Uh, I have no green units in my attack, so attack of elite, large attack, so as long as I remember to pull 7 chits, uh, we're at D2. Uh, so now D2, 1 for the town, yeah, you could just sit in the town, that's, I still need, do I need 4 hats? No, I think I only need 3, because he's... If I get three, one for the town, then there's two left, retreats to here, takes a step loss, then there's one left, retreats to here, and takes a step loss. So yeah, I only need an RD1. <sighs> it's, it's great having this tough decision, isn't it? Like, how many chip pools, you know, I could start drawing woods, Town chips and uh, defender recon. He's a recon, you know. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I wait to think about it. Okay, I've got to go to seven enemy to benefit from the large attack. So I think I'm only going to go to seven. So I'm just going to draw five more. Don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that was so painful. Because <laughs> I, I draw them in this order, so... Um, actually, the the first three chits um, above the two were these three that didn't apply. And then I drew this one. So I had one more chit. So I'm like, three, and it's a woods chit. <laughs> oh, dear. Gutted. Um... Yeah, disperse on supply. This this is clear. Oh, it's broken and clear in the back. And the hex is uh, wood, so... I thought that one was going to mess me up to start with, so I just wasn't got lucky with that. 
Panic attacks doesn't count as in, as in the town. Disperse unsupplied and defender adjacent. Yeah. Ah. So I think it only works out at D2, guys. Yeah, so D2. He's in the town. So one goes away for that. Um, and uh, it's a whole check, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we we drop right down to D, calculate the unit's hold chance. Um, so hold value is 5. Number of steps is 2, so that's a 7. Uh, we're not all across the river. Minus 3 if defending units surrounded or out of communication. So that's correct. I think that helps us. What is it? What did I say? 7. So that's down to four, but then you've got the next one. If all retreat routes would require an extra step loss, it's plus four. So that takes it back up to eight. Uh, they've not already retreated. Um, yeah, we were kind of wanting a retreat result, aren't we? But So I get that, the whole chance is eight and Well, it's, it's still going to be a reasonable result, not a great result. Excuse that in there. Okay, so whole chance of eight. And yeah, we roll a three, so that's less than the whole chance. Apply a step loss. So he's staying in the town and taking a step loss. Well, we, we didn't suffer any hits, I suppose. We never got the two victory points, but that's not important. He's still in lots of trouble, so maybe I wasn't too bad a result. It's just a shame about that last chip pool. Anyway. Okay, um, that's going to be our impulse and... Yeah, well, no cards left in my hand anyway, so... Everything's done. I'll clear things up here. We're going to have one more Allied Impulse for the 18th and then we're done. Okay, going to draw the last uh, Impulse of the day. It's an Allied Impulse, of course. Um, we've got a five core card. Um, oh, there is. Actually, there's one... Five core, there's a one ninth infantry division in the deploy unit in the reserve units box. Um, so yeah, we'll go and have a look, see if we can deploy him then. I don't think this is the worst finish of the of the day for us. I mean, there's the twelve core tenth armor units are still still there. Well, we did get one of them out from the roadblock, but um, it's probably not a terrible way to finish. Let us see that he'll pop in a place where I just don't want it. Maybe uh, okay. I'm gonna have a look at things. Okay, I think I've spotted a couple of hexes. Yeah, that's the fifth core boundary, so that in north. Um, again, I'm going by my usual of trying to three from a unit in the same core. There's none of the ninth infantry on the board yet. Um, Stand on that to show you up there as well in case you guys see anything else. Um, we've got that unit, this unit, and this unit. These two are both within three. I don't think there's anyone within three of the cavalry. It's more than likely going to be surrounded. Yes, there's nothing there. But these two are, I thought I might be able to surround that, but can't. And obviously, initially I looked at this and it's adjacent to an allied unit, but it's got a five hold value, which is one of the overrides if you like um, um, this one there I glanced at because he's out of communication that's one of the overrides as well um, but that hex is surrounded uh, or is it? hang on well you know what it doesn't particularly matter because when it comes down to it if it's within 3 of the core it then looks at highest hold value so I'm pretty sure it's going into Stavlock 
because it's got a five. Um, this is a four. This is only a two anyway. Um, and there's nothing that says it takes preference. It's looking to be three within three of the div uh, well, there's no division, so core. Um, sorry, uh, maybe keep going on about all this. Uh, the, 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 the employment and reserves is probably the trickiest bit to get right. And I don't think I'm, I've been explaining it terribly well to you if you if you're trying to learn the game, that's for sure. Um, so, I don't want to keep harping over and reading all the rules out because we'll be here forever. Um, and I'm sure most of these guys have some understanding of the game anyway. I'm probably looking to see what ones I'm missing and maybe try to point them out. And uh, Yeah, I, I think I'm going to put it there. That's a five. I know it's adjacent, but like I say, that's one of the ones that overrides. It says, um, not adjacent to an allied unit with zone of control unless the position has a hex uh, hold value of five or six. Um, so yeah, I think that's right. Um, going to go with that. I don't think that's the worst uh, last impulse for us, to be honest. Um, so... Okay guys, I uh, finally got to the end of the 18th and uh, this has not been my best day. Um, such a stickler for the rules, wanting to get everything perfect. <laughs> I, I knew it wouldn't be perfect, but uh, I guess it just disappoints when uh, some things come in. Um, the previous videos might have some notes now on some of the things that have went wrong. Um, uh, well, we fixed. I spoke about the roadblocks down, down here that I missed. Can't really repair them, unfortunately. Um, fixed this as best I could. I think this is an okay fix, to be honest. Um, but there's other things I've spotted as well. Um, some of them just daft moves by myself. I've took a wee note here, and and I've cut some comments into some of the videos just to show, just in case. Um, I think they're all from this last part of 18th, so that's why I'm saying it's not been a, well, the third part of the 18th's not been the best. Um, first of all, well, you, you'll have noticed some of these, I'm sure. Um, I've just got written down, um, I had mentioned, and th this could be a bit risky now, I, d I, I don't think the allies. I mentioned, I moved these guys around, there was, there's one that protects here, and then, um, I moved, uh, sorry, I moved uh, one of the guys around saying that oh, I should be right because this guy can't come across here into this West Wall Hex. Well, he can. <laughs> um, I don't know how, uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking the zone of, he's in a zone of control and he's not. Um, now, whether a, any uh, command would let him move across there or not, um, as long as you can still trace supply, but I don't know that, see, you can't trace supply down there. So it might be that you can't, but um, I will be probably trying to get a guy down there just, just to make sure that he, as long as I get a guy there, he then can't move there or there because he would be in his own control then. Uh, but anyway, that's just a daft move by myself, not really a mistake as such. Um, the other one, and I'm going to, I'm going to take this on, uh, hang on a sec. That was the first thing we noticed. Um, let's move things along here a bit. This is a, I mean, I think we sp we've spoke about this, uh, in the hex, it's two, 2015 there. Um, we spoke about this roadblock check before, and I'll show you what happened. Um, we had these two units in um, 1915. And uh, I think this is a, a bit of a naughty one, and that's there's no rule to say that it doesn't happen, but I think you can so easily miss it. I mean, anyway, th this is the move I went. I decided to go next to St. Hubert. Uh, we only <laughs> we had a roadblock there at the time, but there's a unit there now, so let's just move on for that. So I went one, uh, what did I go? One, two, three, and then four, stopped adjacent. And then I says, I'll just tuck this guy in as well. Well, as soon as I'm moving to that hex, I mean, with him, with him making the move, 
there's still a unit adjacent to that hex. So, but as soon as he's away, as soon as he's away, there's nothing in this hex now. So as soon as I move into there, I'm actually supposed to take a check there. And I think we talked about it earlier in the series, uh, my videos, and even I think it was mentioned when I've done the plays through first the James's session, eh, that um, that's just so easy to catch, catch you out, that one. So I'm going to take a chance here <laughs> and uh, at least fix that one because... I can roll for a roadblock there, right? Um, and I don't think it's going to affect anything else. So I'm going to do it. We're going to pray we don't get a, a one or a two, but... So I'm going to go for this, guys, all right? Okay, we got a seven, all right? That wasn't staged either. It was genuine, okay? So I've done a check there, but I, I think that's a bit of a naughty one, really, that... Um, uh, I'd be interested to maybe read up. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure I looked it up because I did feel that it was one of the ones. Anyway, we've got that one out of the way. Um, so easy to miss, though, and I could see myself missing that, uh, the likes of a robot chair like that in the future quite easily. Okay, so moving up to this one. <laughs> I'm sure you were scratching your head at this one. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what went wrong here. But um, fortunately, there's no damage done, I think, anyway. Uh, we had the ninth Armour unit in here. He was out, He was in low supply and he was uh, dispersed. And uh, we attacked him. We got a D2 result, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was D2 result. And um, so I said, OK, he can, and he can only retreat once because of the dispersal. So that's the reason that it makes things OK and... Um, I think the unit still got eliminated because um, his first hit, he was only one step, so he got a D2. So his first hit, I said, yeah, he'll retreat into here or here. No, he'll not. He won't retreat into a zone of control. So he, <laughs> he would have retreated into one of these two hexes. Uh, actually, this one in particular, because that's the withdrawal arrow. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. This has just been a, a bad session for me. Uh, I, I have no idea why I was thinking that at all. So his first hit, he would have moved into here. We still had one hit to do on him, but because he can only retreat one hex, he would have had to take that as a step loss. So it didn't matter anyway, but it was just to point out that that was in no way the hexes that he should have retreated into. So just, ugh, I don't know what was going on in my head there. Uh, so, yeah, a couple more you're going to see. One I can deal with now. Um, this one's just cam my camera work again, and I'm, I'm still learning to do this, so hope you understand. Um, and you get carried away sometimes. You're not looking at the... Uh, it's just my phone I'm doing it on. I've got I've got a thing attached on the computer, but it's round the side, and I can't look at it all, all the time, especially when I'm trying to concentrate. Anyway, it was um, it was a 501 unit here. Let's make sure he's in the camera this time. Yeah, it was a 501 unit here. And this is maybe the first time you've seen him for a while because the, the whole part of his move was just cut out of the camera, I'm afraid. Uh, I think he was here or here. I'm not exactly sure, but... Basically, we we moved we moved them down to here because I was wanting to protect. Remember, I'd said it was my cunning plan. Well, it's not really a cunning plan about it, but I moved um, what was it? Oh, I moved that that armored unit away down with strategic movement, didn't I? And he was up. He was up there. Let's just zoom out a bit, can I? can all see. Um, yeah, he was up in Saint Perth and he, he, he ran away down there. And then my next move was, but you didn't see it in the camera. And basically, I was, I'm just showing you. I moved them down to here to try and give a bit of protection there. Um, but again, sorry for the camera work. And the, the last one was involved in the first SS as well, and I'm sure you's, you spotted it, Martin and, and co. Um, I had a look in the hope that, this, when I moved into Malmody, I had the hope, but in the hope that, uh, that, that that these two bridges were uh, maybe not an allied supply, but both of them are. And I, I moved in there and took the roadblock check here, but there's two bridges there, and I moved in from this this line. So I should have done two bridge demo checks. And I can do them now, though. There's nothing uh, 
no real damage to be done. Well, I'd like them to be staying afloat, but um, we shall see. Uh, right, just find a space. Sorry, I'm throwing things about there. Um, I think I'll need to go across here, actually. Can we see that? Okay, I'll do the... Sorry. Um, I'll do the one up north first. So, on a bridge demolition check. Uh, yeah, the one in this hex here. Okay, you see that? It's a nine anyway. So we're good with that one. So I'll do the one that's just south of Malmody. And oh, we've got a six. Oh well, that's good. No harm done. Uh, again, I'm trying to be so perfect with it and yet I missed two bridges. Not just one, I missed two bridges. So, I don't know. So hopefully we can go into the 19th now and um, uh, just call that last day, the last part of that day, a bit of a blip and uh, uh, start getting back on track again. I'm going to be taking things, just stepping back and taking things a bit slower again because I don't want, okay, mistake, robot checks. I can live with the one that happened down here. Um, I would have found it tough to have lived with the, you know, the, this unit being placed away down there. I mean, I'm not saying he's, he's not in a position that could do something, but that's where he should have been placed. And so glad we got that sorted. So now I'm going to finish this video up though, get it uploaded, and Martin's going to come back, or one of you other guys are going to come back and say, ah, yeah, you must mean because I deployed, I deployed the 18th Corps and there was like eight of them. Uh, and I'm really concerned that I could easily have got something wrong. And um, well, if that happens, I've just got to maybe take it on the chin and move on unless it's awful unless it's completely terrible but anyway i better not go on too much more um i seem to find i'm starting to rabbit on but again uh, gonna try and uh, go into the 19th uh, no yakking too much um so yeah the end of the day we put the chips back in the cup move the there's no disperse markers on the units move the day marker on so i'll get everything tidied up and then get this uploaded and I'll get myself, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer not to start on the 19th just yet, get this video uploaded and uh, see if I get any, oh you've missed this, you missed that, before I start, but um, I'm keen to get going again and I've got a, wee, a little bit of time now, so I might get it started and, and uh, fingers crossed there's nothing, nothing more spotted, uh, anyway, okay thanks for your time guys, cheers.